from Chicago, Illinois. Every time I get to play with my MacBook, I think about you, buddy. I really appreciate you sending me that thing. I like making them little introductions now. I've learned a little trick there. I try to make my my daily rant sound a little more, or, or at least look a little more professional. So I'm trying, buddy. I appreciate you sending that thing to me. Thank you every time I open it. So what's going on? Donnie's not happy today. As a matter of fact, the news reported that Donnie, he's embarrassed and he's pissed. Don't worry, Donnie. We're embarrassed and we're pissed too. Not for the same reasons. Donnie's embarrassed and pissed because Roy Moore won in Alabama last night. And Donnie's boy Strange, what, Luther Strange I think his name was, Donnie went down there to campaign for him and everything, did a big speech down there where he threw shit. Yeah, that was all go down there and support Luther Strange. And he lost, Donnie, he lost to Roy Moore. Roy Moore, Mr. Shoot him if they ain't a Christian guy. The ISIS guy, that's the guy. It's the same shit. That guy, that Roy Moore, he's about as bigot and as about a hate monger as you ever saw in your life. He used to be on the Alabama Supreme Court, but they had to throw his ass off. Why? Because he's a dick. He's a dick asshole. And he's a bigot and he's a hate monger and all that other shit. But hell no, not enough to get, you know, he's not so bad that Alabama, Alabama Republicans won't vote for him. And uh, so old Donnie's not happy about that. Well, just too bad there, Donnie. Looks like Steve Bannon whomped your ass. And uh, so now it's a competition between Donnie and, and, and Bannon. Remember, we always said Bannon was the real guy, the real power, the real president up there. Without Bannon now, Donnie ain't shit. Donnie's a whiner. Yes, Donnie's whining again. What's he whining about now? He's whining about Facebook. He's laying the groundwork for declaring Facebook... Fake news! Oh, I believe them fake news! Why? Because they're going to come out with Russian stories. Facebook is going to be in the news because they sold all those ads to Donnie's Russian hacks. You know, when Donnie and the Russians colluded to see how they could get Donnie to win, they came up with these Facebook ads. Yeah, that's what they did. Now, Donnie's trying to lay that groundwork. Oh, Facebook news is fake news. You know, the Washington Times... And, I mean, the Washington Post and the New York Times and all the networks are all fake news. Everybody else except Fox News. Bullshit Mountain, you know, Hannity, who spills shit out of his mouth every day, trying to support a, a lame liar that sits in our house, trying to dig for some reason to support a disgusting liar that sits in our house. Yep, that's Hannity. He does it every day. Anyway, he thinks that uh, it's all collusion. He, he likes to use that word now. Collusion. It's colluding. The New York Times, the Washington Post, all the networks, Facebook, Twitter, everybody colluded against Dottie. No, they just recognize an asshole when they see one. And we all did. And all the right-wing cockroaches, the racist son of a bitches out there, they love Donnie. And uh, I know because I know some of them. Anyway, what else is going on? Well... What's his name? Pruitt. Yeah. Pruitt, the EPA guy. Uh, he's in the news. Why? Because he wants $25,000 for a soundproof room so he can make phone calls because he don't want anybody hearing what he's saying. What are you doing, dude? Talking on a sex line or something? You don't want nobody to hear? You're the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. You're not the CIA. You're not the, the head spy. You don't need a private soundproof room for you to make your phone call. This guy is walking around with a 24-hour armed guard around him. Even when he's in the EPA building, he has an armed guard. He has 24-hour security. Who the hell do you think you are? The president? Oh, he wants that. They all like that. He wants 25000 for a soundproof room. Who was that? Oh, uh, uh, who is that guy? Health and Human Services. Price. He wants $25,000 just to fly from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia. And they did the math on that. It would cost $43 to drive to Philadelphia. It would cost $140 to get on a train. It would cost about $400 for you to get a regular airline ticket to fly to Philadelphia. But no, 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 no. Tom Price wants $25,000 to fly his private ass on a private luxury jet from Washington, D.C. to 
belly. These are the these are the swamp beasts, the creatures from the Black Lagoon that Donnie dug out of the ditch to to fill his cabinet with people like Price and and Pruitt who think that we ought to spend every tax dollar we have on their private issues the same way Mnuchin wanting his private jet or a government jet to jet him around Europe on his vacation on his honeymoon. How did that marriage happen? Had a lot to do with money, baby! Anyway, they, uh, they just want the money. That's all it says. They don't give a shit about your tax dollars. Their tax plan, he's up there talking about it right now, how he's going to do this and do that. I ain't took the time to listen to him because I had today's show. I'll deal with his tax reform when it comes up because we know that's going to be nothing but a big buyout for the rich people. I heard they're going to get rid of a lot of deductions too. That ain't going to make a lot of people happy. Anyway, what else is going on? Uh, just a quick note, I want Steven Seagal, you know that actor that uh, used to play in a whole lot of B-movies. Steven Seagal, the Russian citizen who's living in Russia right now. That's Steven Seagal. He can kiss my ass. How about you keep your lousy Russian opinion and shove it up your ass there, Steve? Because uh, nobody here in America gives a shit about your Russian ass. Anyway, he's over there talking shit about the NFL and how disgusting it is that Kaepernick took a knee. And then, the, and then he goes on to praise Pootie and all that. So Steven Seagal is nothing but another Russian freaking hack who, who, whose opinion doesn't mean shit to the American people. So how about it, Steven Seagal? How about you shove it up your ass? Anyway, Donnie's in trouble about Puerto Rico because he's just not, the aid is not getting to Puerto Rico. It has to do with the Jones Act. Now, I believe that has something to do with the who gets to ship the material to, an aid, to a disaster area. In, uh, in the United States. Puerto Rico is part of the United States. These are American citizens in Puerto Rico. And uh, evidently they're having a hard time getting a waiver for the Jones Act to get material in there. Well, they waived it real quick after Harvey and they waived it real quick after Irma because they had to get the gas and they had to get material and supplies in there. They didn't care who delivered. Get it in there if needed. Puerto Rico, oh, we'll get to it later. Don't worry. Why? Why is that? Couldn't be because it's full of brown people, huh, Donnie? I swear he's just a racist son of a bitch. You can't convince me of anything else. He's no, no, in no hurry. He gets up there on, in front of the... Do you know that Puerto Rico's out in the ocean? It is a big ocean. It's a very big ocean. Are you stupid? Did you just learn that, Donnie? I bet you did. He probably had to go on a map and find out where Puerto Rico was and notice, look, there's a whole bunch of water around it and shit. Yeah. That's about what happened. What the hell? Emails? What emails? Ben is emails, Kushner's, I bought Priebus, Ritz Priebus, private email server, all of them. All of them using private emails to do business. What happened to that outrage we was hearing from the right? Where are all those right wing cockroaches, those stupid ignorant minions screaming about Hillary's emails? Where are they now? They're not in the news screaming about Hillary. Nobody's saying, hey, did you discuss government business on the emails we want to see? No, nobody's saying that because they don't give a shit. And they didn't give a shit about Hillary's emails. They just wanted to use it as a weapon to try to convince stupid, ignorant people who are listening to Russian hacks on ads on Facebook to convince them that Hillary was evil and, and, and bad and needed to be locked up and all that shit because ignorant people will believe anything. Especially if Fox News says it or Rush Limbaugh or what's that dick here in Texas? Uh, Alex Jones! Oh, if Alex Jones said, I have one particular family member who just loves Alex Jones, believes all of his shit. That's what she told me one time. I just love listening to Alex Jones. Ignorance! All the way through their brain. They have no idea. Anyway, Mueller's fixing to interview all of Trump's staff? Well, why would they want? Oh, maybe they want to find out what they knew, when they knew it, and what Donnie knew it, and when Donnie knew it. And compare that up with Donnie's interview with Mueller when it comes around. I'd love to see that one. Anyway, it's all about Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. It's all about Russia. All this other bullshit that he tries to throw out. The NFL thing. That's all just turds he pulls out of his ass to smear all over everything. So we all look at how stupid Donnie is and try to stay away from the fact that he's a Russian hack. He colluded with the Russian. He's in bed with... Oh, Putin's not happy with him. Putin's not happy with him at all because it didn't go. We're not pumping that oil out of there yet. 
Donnie screwed it all up, got caught dealing with the Russians. He was so lax with everything. His junior, oh, I love it. Get him dirt on Hillary and all this shit. Yeah, it screwed up. Donnie got caught. Now he's under investigation, and he's going to get his ass impeached, or he will resign over that shit. So Pootie's not happy with it. Didn't go the way Pootie planned it. Anyway, the GOP is currently at war within itself. That's what that battle between Roy Moore and Luther Strange was. That was a battle within the GOP. Trump backed Luther Strange, Bannon backed uh, uh, Roy Moore. But it's a battle within the, the GOP right now to see how far right they can swing. How many right-wing cockroaches can they dig out of the woodwork to run against other Republicans, which gives us an opportunity to bash them because they're nothing but right-wing trolls, these guys. Remember, Roy Moore, the guy that won, he used to shoot them if they're not a Christian guy. Just how disgusting do you have to be? That man is nothing but, he, he, it's a, he's a Jesus freak. He, uh, if you ain't for Jesus, buddy, you're not for shit. And you want that man in your Senate? You want that kind of shit walking around our our, our house up there? No, I don't think so. He's one of them guys that thinks that God's law is above the Constitution. And if you believe that, let me make this very clear. Get the hell out of my country. Because if you don't believe in the Constitution, ain't that what they always tell us left-wingers? Well, if you don't like it, leave it. If you don't love it, leave it. Well, if you don't love our Constitution, get the hell out of our country. I don't give a shit whether you like it or not. Get the fuck out. We don't need your ass. But that's what the GOP is now becoming. It's a fight in there to see the moderates and the crazy, crazy white ring nut jobs. And uh, I've told you before, GOP, has, the Republican Party has become the party of the Klan. The right wing nut jobs, the, the white supremacists. All that bullshit, they've, they've hugged on to the Republican Party. And the Republican Party is not doing anything to get rid of them. So the Republican Party is accepting that. They're including that. They're an inclusive group to white supremacist Nazis, Klan members, and all that other shit. That's what the Republican Party stands for now. And I am very proud to call myself a Democrat. I am a liberal Democrat. I can't stand people who don't know the difference between a flag and a constitution. I don't like the people who can't understand that a person's individual right cannot be Trump stomped on. I don't give a shit if you are the president. That he Trump stomps on the Constitution every time you turn around. This man doesn't even know how to read the Constitution. Are you shitting me? Anyway, what else is going on? Jared Kushner's a girl. No, he's not. He's married to a girl. He's married to Ivanka, and we know them Christians don't allow that shit. So Jared's got to be a guy. But in New York, he's registered to vote as a female. Ah, probably a slip vote. But in New Jersey, he's, he's registered to vote as a male. Hey, Donnie, where's your voter fraud case out there? Jared Kushner, what, is he showing up in New York and broad a wig on? Hi, I'm Miss Kushner. And then running over to Jersey. Hey, I'm Mr. Kushner. It sounds like a voter fraud to me, buddy. Why don't you have that shit investigated? Make up your mind there, Jared. Are you, are you voting in New York Are you as a female, or are you voting in New Jersey as a male? Inquiring minds want to know, Jarrett. <laughs> anyway, unhappy NFN burn jerseys. Who gives a shit? If they're ignorant enough to burn the jersey, they're too stupid to understand the thing that I was just talking about, the Constitution giving every person in this country the right to protest. Kaepernick took a knee on the advice from a, 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 an Army Green Beret because he was just sitting on the bench in the Army Green Beret. The soldier, the veteran, told him it's better if you kneel. You know, like soldiers do in front of a, and when they want to pay homage to something. So Kaepernick took a knee and everybody's getting all upset about it and they want to burn their jerseys and disgrace the NFL. Kiss my ass if you're too stupid to understand the Constitution because that's what these people are. They're too ignorant. They're the rebel flag wavers, the Nazi flag, white supremacist, that same old bullshit that NASCAR is happily involved in, you know, happily, hey, come on in here with your rebel flag, we don't mind. Kneel at that anthem, oh, no, 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 black man, black man. That's NASCAR. So NASCAR can kiss my ass, except for Dale Jr. At least Dale's got a set of balls. And uh, you don't see that much in Republican circles nowadays. They're all a bunch of pussies. 
Anyway, Donnie's laying groundwork, 25000 for a soundproof room, unhappy, blah, blah, blah. I think I got everything down there except Mary Booth. What's up with Mary Booth? Mary Booth is having a hard time. Mary Booth is a blue dot. She's one of our fans. She's a family member. Mary has had a hard time for months and months trying to get a shirt to me. I got the tracking number. Unfortunately, like I said before, the, the post office I deal with is only open two hours a day. Either you show up or tough shit. And uh, I missed it again today. Tomorrow I'm going to try to get up there with the tracking number. I went with the last time the tracking number and the lady behind the counter said, oh, I don't know what happened. Mary has been trying to, I know what the shirt looks like. Impeach 45, one in baseball shirts. I'm looking forward to getting it. I like that. Mary from Harbor Springs, Michigan, she's having a hard time, and I swear she's done this three times. She's trying doggedly to get that shirt to me, and Mary, I appreciate it tremendously, and uh, the effort is way up far and beyond, but uh, I don't know. As soon as I can get down there when they're open, I'm going to ask them about it. got the tracking number, and I'll take this tracking number down there and try to get them. Anyway, that's about all I got. Uh, it's just heartbreaking to see the, the news keep coming out of uh, Puerto Rico. It, it's a very bad, desperate situation. People are getting robbed for MREs. Well, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We need to get everything we got over there as soon as we can. Right here in Texas and in Florida, the, the work continues. The support continues. Puerto Rico is sitting over there waiting on it. And we need to get as much to them as we can. It just kills me that they are not a state yet. They have every every liability. Hey, what's that shit about Donnie the boy, Trump boy going over there gonna have build a golf course in Puerto Rico and that stuff stuck Puerto Rico with a 33 million dollar bond issue when he backed out when he decided not to build his golf course over there. He's just a dick and he does dick shit. You think he gives a crap about this country? Hell no. It's how much money Donnie can get out of it. And uh, that's exactly what it is. Donnie's got his whole business of bribe collection centers working good, collecting every dime they can. And that's my opinion. And, uh, gee, the Constitution gives me a right to that opinion. And uh, I guess there's a few Republicans that are pissed off at me, too. Like, I give a shit. I'm surrounded by the idiots around here. I don't give a shit. I will proudly stand for the Constitution that I enlisted to support that my brother did, that my father did, and to stand for Kaepernick's right to take a knee if he so desires. And all you other unhappy, fan-burning, Jersey idiots, nobody gives a shit. Why don't you go buy some more stuff so you can burn it too? We don't care. You just prove yourself to be so stupid. Anyway, Blue Dots around the world, I love you so much. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. John Bernabeu, Blue Dot in Texas. And, uh, I'm going to try to do a little after thing here with a little music and all that shit when I get done and get this upstairs and then try to get it uploaded today. But, uh, Blue Dot family, we're, 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 we're oh yeah, uh, Florida State Legislation, uh, District 40, we picked up another seat in the, in the Florida House as a Democrat that was held by a Republican before. I think that guy had to quit because uh, he made some disparaging remarks to some, uh, people of color, and uh, he got caught on tape saying it, so he had to resign, so he had to get somebody else up, and anyway, that guy lost, and now, uh, Annette Tadio, um, uh, Miami-Dade County down in there, she is the new state representative for there, so go Democrats, we're picking up seats, and uh, we're going to pick up a shitload of them in 2018, baby, I know we will, because the Republican Party is on fire, they're crashing and burning left and right, because they ain't got a leader, they don't have a vision, they don't have a uh, they don't have shit. All they got is a rebel flag and shit and some imaginary patriotism shit to fly. That's all they got, baby. They don't know the true America. That's what I think. They're just lost. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. I'll be here to shut up. I like to hit him. Hey, Tim, that's a good place for Donnie right there. Every time I get mad, I just smack the crap out of him in the back of his head. Still got all his pins in his head. He has another bad week. Anyway. Y'all take care. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye now.